Good morning, guys. Come 8 a.m., you want to head down to Cross Homes Church here in Homa, right off of LA 660, especially if you need a hot cooked meal. We know a lot of people do because there are thousands of people here in Homa without any power. And Charles is here to tell us more about it. We want to talk about Mercy Chefs, who's all behind this. Tell us more about the mission and why they decide to come serve here in Homa. Well, I've been working with Mercy Chefs for a long time. Uh, they're an amazing company. We have a truck right here. We have an 18-wheeler that just came up, and we have another one that's on the way. Um, I I'm from South Louisiana, and when I called them and told them, hey, we need some help here in Louisiana with this upcoming storm, the first thing they told me is, we will be right there. So here we are, uh, food kitchen, uh, truckloads full of food supplies, and uh, we'll be serving food throughout the day. Do we know how much supply they have for how many folks? There's 45,000 pounds worth of supplies in that truck, so quite a bit. Good. And it is first come, first serve, yeah. and we know there is a need. Can you talk about the need? I know you've been in the area talking to some of the folks. Uh, well, the need, I, I mean, I have a lot of family, my cousins, my sisters, my aunts, you know, all that, all down here in South Louisiana, they're all without power. So I'm sure there is a need. So if you need it, come down here, we'll help you out. Thank you so much. And I do want to mention that Mercy Chefs are a national nonprofit, but they do have ties here in South Louisiana. Their organization actually got started right after Hurricane Katrina, so they know all about it. But for now, I'll send it back to you all in the studio. All right, and I'm thank you so much. And today,